in Cincinnati, Ohio. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Showing the slab in today's game. Hunter Green. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. All right, ready to get underway. And here is Brendan Donovan. Now the corner for a strike, and we're underway here in Cincinnati. Next offering in there for a strike. And that is strike two. One, two. And One, that two. skips into dirt. The wind of the pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Outside low, two and two. No, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. One up, one down. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. And strike two. No balls, two strikes. And that's Ball. off the inside edge. Now one, one two. and two. One out, base is empty. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. So digging in, Lars Newtbaugh. Lifted in the air, right center field. Benson on his way over, and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the first. No score. Back here at Great American Ballpark, and on the mound now, it's Sonny Gray. What do we need to know here? One of the keys for him is being able to change speeds. You know, the ball doesn't come from a high angle, so it can be a little flat crossing the zone. He needs to create some deception with his pitches. Maybe pause a bit, slow down, speed up, and force this lineup to guess the timing instead of settling into a consistent rhythm. We go to the bottom of the first. In now for the Reds, Matt McClain. That one off the mark, ball one. Righty to the play. Bounced out to short. Win. Whips it across. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and 
There's just no one there to knock it down. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. One down. Spencer Steer now at the plate. That misses. One Ball one. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. De La Cruz back on a dive. Runner takes off. Pitch is low. Tag out. A rocket of a throw from Wilson Contreras. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Two and the cow. Here it comes. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a two-out knock, and that puts the winning run on first. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Back Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So two down. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Just missed. In the dirt, blocked, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. Steer dives back in safely. Steer, the runner at first with two gone. And that misses off the outside edge. Jonathan India up next for the Reds. He walked in, and that'll keep the line moving. They'll just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, right, yeah. and no, guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. First and second, two outs. Jonathan Indy at the plate, just oh, off the it. inside edge. offering upstairs good spot for the hitter definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch two outs couple of base runners at first and second and a pop-up right side foul territory brings it in and that will end the inning red strand a couple scoreless after one here in Cincinnati second inning set to go here's Nolan Arenado listen there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here you nibble you see if he'll expand his zone but don't give him anything to hit if you walk him not a big deal you have a double play oh. opportunity set up up and one in oh. and it's one and oh that one in there across the letters a plate umpire Earl Hendricks yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Swing and a miss. In the count, one and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Man at second. Pitch oh. misses outside. And it's two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets.
stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. This one high in the air to left center. He's under it. Hauls it in for the out. That is it. The catcher number 40, Wilson Contreras. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on. Have the force at second first. Perhaps getting inning ending double play. Puts the corner. Strike one. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Ian Jibo loosening up for manager David Bell. Farmer warming up as well. Mm -hmm. 0-1 now. And fouled off. They call this batter a gamer because he always seems to perform better when it matters most. Who doesn't want a guy like that on your team? Next offering way off the plate. Wouldn't chase that time. Still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. And a pitch. And Look another out. ball. Nolan Gorman up next for the Cardinals. Payoff pitch. Got him swinging. Well, I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Here's Nolan Gorman. And there's the strike. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position here at the top of the second. Next that pitch is outside. The There's a strike. Man on second, two down. Hard hit, base hit. Around third. He'll score. The Cardinals have the lead. One nothing. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. So runner at second, two down. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. That's oh. a little bit low. Gorman at second with two down. And there's a strike of the outside corner and the count is one and one. And that one in the air center field in position. And makes the grab. And that is that. Cards on the board with this double. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the right fielder, Jake Fraley. And the pitch. High in the air, out to right. Newt Bar has a beat on it. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Batting seven. The first baseman, Christian. 
Next for Cincinnati, Christian Encarnacion Strand. You have to find a way to score the runner from third, especially with less than two outs. Wait for the pitch you want and hit it as hard as you can. And a good Down, eye there. Ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Brian Helsley, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Kittredge, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And he deals. And That's another down, ball. ball. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out, is he going to get a pitch to hit? High fly ball down the left field line. He's under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 1-1. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. And a foul ball. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Two out, spaces empty. That misses. Oh. Gonna count one and two. It's a good take. One and two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. We head on now to the top of the third, all tied 1-1. And we're back we on to the ball. third inning. Digging in the is the switch inning outfielder, Tommy, Tommy Edmund. Edmund. The pitch. Wouldn't chase wow. that time. Fouled off. He was late. Here comes a pitch. And a count one and two. That one oh, just that. misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bounce to third. Zips it across and one away in the top of the third. Got it done. The cook And now the shortstop, Mason yeah. Wynn. Singing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Ball one there. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's ah. impressive. Swing and a miss. One and one. Got a count even at one. There's yeah. the swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Man, it's second. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And, Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Next to hit, Brendan yeah. Donovan. They had a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Two outs. Uh, Late that time, it's strike two. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Field two. And yeah, that's outside. Uh, tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. And a ball evens the count. 
with the go ahead run standing at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one misses. Full count three and two. In the air, left field. He's under it. And that's the third out. The cards leave one. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's going to be Will Benson. Will Benson. You know, the right hander back to work and immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed oh hitter. The pitch. Oh. Gets the outside corner with that one. Back to him with the breaking ball. Oh, Just right. got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Next That's pitch downstairs. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. So the batting order turns over. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. Grounded out his first time up. Grounded to Gorman. Tosses the first and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third and now they have a chance to drive in the go ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. One for one with a single so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. That's the ball. Good eye in that spot. And he yeah. takes one right on the black. And the count one and two. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And that's in the dirt. Just outside. And the count's full. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the righty deals. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Start of the fourth, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt. Green back to work. Nope. Up and oh. in, and that's ball one. One and up. The pitch. Ground ball right side. And Cardacio right. Strand takes it to the bag. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. Newt Bar up to bat next, lays off for a ball. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. 
That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. The run scores from third. It's 2-1. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. One down, runner at first. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. That's inside. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. Newt Bar leads off first with one away. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one, and that's two. But the RBI single pushes across a run, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Great American Ballpark, ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the left fielder, Spencer Steer. And here it comes. Runner takes off for third. Over to third, but the throw's offline. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, stealing third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Next offering is in for a strike. In the dirt, well done behind the dish. Rats and misses, it's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Jamer Candelario, the next to hit for the Reds. He reached out a walk his first time. Swings and misses. That's strike one. one. And that one is inside. With the tying run at third, we're here in the bottom of the fourth. This to center field. Edmund in position. Brings it in. Runner tagging from third. To the plate. Safe. And we are tied. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. He's 0 for 1. India. Just off the outside edge. 1 and 0. Just the ball. missed. Outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Ground ball, left side. Tosses to first. Three up, three down, inning over. So they scratch across a run on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. We're headed to the fifth. We are tied 2-2.
We go to the top of the fifth, and now the Cardinals catcher, Wilson Contreras. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And the pitch. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slugs, some home runs can come into play. That misses the zone. One and two to count. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Now the batter now, Nolan Gorman. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Calls it in, two away. Up next for the Cardinals, the left fielder, Jordan. Jordan Walker, Walker. Next up for the Cardinals. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That Nine one four. finds the zone. Strike one. Oh and one. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. And we're at the top of the fifth. And there's it's a ball. Nice ball. Kicks and fires. And that's Two outside. One. That one hit to right. Fraley should have it. Brings it in for the third out. So one left for the Cardinals. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Jake Fraley. Gray back to work. And that skips in the dirt. Wow. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Newt ball on the move, racing back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags it second. Plenty of extra carry on that ball to right, right there. Almost got now out of here thanks to the win. It's whipping right now. Christian Encarnacion Strand, the next to hit for the Reds. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air, look for the right pitch up, and then smoke it. First that offering, and it ball. just misses. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. And he chases that one. Huge strikeout there. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. A little bit oh. high. Ball one. Yeah. 
two outs. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Just nope. missed. Will Benson on deck for Cincinnati. Winning run at third, two down. Last half of inning number five. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here in Cincinnati, all set for the top of the sixth. Now up for St. Louis, Tommy Edmund. The pitch. Just oh, missed. That one hooked foul. Man, it's second. No, that missed. That's a ball. Check on the runner. Walker back in on a dive. Good wheels out there on second, and he's getting a pretty big lead right now. Definitely looking to score on any hit to the outfield. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Lifted in the air, out to left. Steer settles underneath it. And there's one down. And up next for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. His first at bat was a strikeout. Fastball for a strike. It really looks like Go these ball. hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity no, and not. stay there. The next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. Got yeah. the back going too soon at strike two. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Way outside. Three and two now. Brendan Donovan waiting for a turn at the plate. Payoff pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Makes the grab. Two down. The throw is wild and it gets away. The batter, the designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Brendan Donovan. Next up for the Cardinals. Popped up. And that's the third out. No runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on base. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. We are tied 2 2. Bottom of the sixth. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1.
Swings through that one. Just a bit oh, late on that 0-1 right. breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. Here's the 0-2. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Walker gets under it. One up, one down. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Matt. Matt so back to the top of the Reds lineup. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. Right through there for a strike. With the winning run standing at second here in the bottom of the sixth. That one Thank almost you. got him. The winning run on second base. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside now corner of the play. Got off. him to chase it. And that's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. Next for Cincinnati, Ellie De La Cruz. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. That's in. Oh. Off the plate inside. And that's ball one. Shortstop ball. takes the ball. Two balls, no strike. And nope. another ball. Stevenson at second with two down. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to throw off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Steer no, in the box lays ball. off for ball one. Just oh. missed. First and second, two down. Foul ball makes the count two and one. Right and a swing and a miss. Two and two's the count. in the dirt. Jamer Candelario up next. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So they strand a pair. We're through six full. We are tied 2-2. Welcome back to the ballpark. Top of inning number seven. Now here is Paul Goldschmidt. Here comes a pitch. That's outside. 
And that is ball one. one you can up. expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Next right. offering is in for a strike. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Righty to the plate. That misses. Ball, that's and that's ball two. That's a really good take. Up the middle. And that one handled. Throws the first in time. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and like give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. New ball. Oh, up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. That one ripped, but foul. Just oh, missed. Oh. Next one oh. misses. Three balls and a strike. Nolan Arenado in the St. Louis on deck circle. In for a strike, now it's three and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. My drive, that's a base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's three, two. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Nice line drive to pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Hunter Green won't go any further tonight, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New now arm out of the bullpen, Ian Jabot. Number Just trying to keep this one close here, yeah. and this is where a bullpen can yeah. give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Nolan Arenado. And the ball. first pitch Outside. misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down-and-away pitch. Run around the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Ow. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game, trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. And a pitch. Got him swinging on the curveball. And it's a three up, three down inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. New pitcher on here, Ryan Helsley. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Jamer Candelario. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. And
And he deals. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. And that one's a little bit low, and the count is 2-0. Inside. Man at second. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. I'll see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. And yeah, the batter now, Jonathan India. Fall off foul. With the tying run at second, winning run at the plate. Here at the bottom of the seventh. One and one. In the dirt. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. it off still one and two at the belt and fires popped up foul territory behind the plate squeezes it and there's two down now batter right fielder Jake Fraley Reds down to their final out. And now the right fielder, Jake Fraley, trying to deliver as the hero. Swing and a miss. It's 0 1. Okay, and swing now. He had his mind made up. As soon as that ball left the hand of the pitcher, he was going to swing at it. Pitch. Wouldn't chase one, one. that time. The pitch. Ah. Late on that fastball. Wow, good luck catching one, two, up to that one. one. Helsley is just one strike away. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And that'll do it as they complete the strikeout to end it. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
our final.